Did anyone really ask for a sequel to Ride Along? Was there really any point to the sequel being made? Just because your original film makes a good amount of money at the box office doesn't mean that it needs a sequel and Ride Along 2 definitely proves it. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Ride Along 2. So Ride Along 2 is the sequel to the 2014 film Ride Along. The film stars Ice Cube, Kevin Hart, um, Olivia Munn, Benjamin Bratt, and Kang Jong. And Ride Along 2 is about when Kevin Hart tags along with his soon-to-be brother-in-law, played by Ice Cube. He wants to show Ice Cube that he can be more mature, that he can handle these dangerous situations better because of him being a klutz and screwing up a mission that happens in the beginning of this film. He's gonna marry Ice Cube's sister. So Ice Cube and Kevin Hart have to go down to Miami and partner up with Olivia Munn to go take down this drug dealer. And they have to get back home so Kevin Hart can marry Ice Cube's sister. I do have an unpopular opinion when it comes to the 2014 film Ride Along. I know a lot of people hated that film, and that's okay, but in my opinion, I actually had a really great time with Ride Along. Like, it's really funny to me. And with Ride Along 2, the trailer looked okay and all, but I was like, this looks so pointless. And after seeing Ride Along 2, it's pointless. That's exactly what it was. I came into this thinking this would be a pointless sequel. And that's exactly what Ride Along 2 is. So in my opinion, some of the positives I do have with Ride Along 2 is that I did really like Ice Cube here. You know, just like with the first film, I thought he did a very good job in the film. Really enjoyed Ice Cube's screen presence. Same thing does go for Kevin Hart. I really enjoyed his screen presence for the film. I thought he did a very nice job. Ken Jong, you know, he's a new addition to the crew, and I really enjoyed Ken Jong. He had some funny moments to his character to me. And then you also have Benjamin Bratt as the antagonist of this film, and I'll definitely say Benjamin Bratt just looks like he's having a ton of fun in this film. So I always like when an actor could just go all out and have fun, and that definitely looks like the case with Benjamin Bratt, so I really enjoyed him when it comes to just being the antagonist. There are some funny parts, like just parts here and there that did make me laugh in Ride Along 2. It is pretty much far in between, but you know, I did laugh pretty good or at least decently. There's two parts where I did laugh out loud. There were actually two laugh out loud moments in Ride Along 2 where I was like, okay, wow, like that was really good right there. I did enjoy the action sequences in this film, although I don't think they're as enjoyable as the action in the first Ride Along, if I have to be honest, but I still enjoyed the action sequences nonetheless in Ride Along 2, including this one car chase scene where Kevin Hart is imagining himself in a video game. I actually thought that was a fun scene right there. It didn't hit when it came to the humor that was happening during that certain scene, but in terms of like Kevin Hart imagining him in a video game and all that, I actually thought that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. And I know when you go into a comedy, you don't really critique cinematography, but I still just wanted to point out that I did like the cinematography in Ride Along 2. You know, for a comedy, I thought it was pretty good. It was pretty good cinematography. But now my negatives with Ride Along 2 is that first thing, while the writing in this film isn't bad, it's just very bland and lazy. I felt like they didn't really try hard enough when it comes to the jokes and really storyline wise like they're serviceable it's not like I'm watching this film pissed off or cringing the writing in this film just didn't really work out as well as it could have and a lot of the humor really didn't hit for me they really tried so hard to make this movie funny when for the most part it does not land and it does get annoying in some parts because Kevin Hart's character didn't know when to really be quiet in some parts. Sure, in a few moments in the first ride along I did get that but it wasn't like anything too annoying for me. There were actually times where in ride along 2 
I actually got a little too annoyed with Kevin Hart's character. The movie itself doesn't feel like anything different from the original film. The only difference is that they are in Miami, but besides that, it wasn't really all that different from the original film. The interaction between Ice Cube and Kevin Hart I really felt like wasn't as good as the original film. Whereas in the original film I did feel like Kevin Hart and Ice Cube's interaction with each other was actually really funny and really well done. This one doesn't really have as much pizzazz to it. Like there was just really something missing between them. Like when Ice Cube's insulting Kevin Hart or like when Kevin Hart's trying to annoy Ice Cube. It somehow worked in the first for me but in the second one because I was already used to seeing that so much in the first like it just gets tiring seeing the sequel. Olivia Munn she's not bad here she's a beautiful woman she's very talented but in Ride Along 2 she actually is very wasted and it just felt like she was in this film for her sexual appeal and she was just making like these constant faces that were Honestly, pretty weird. Tim Story's direction does get really choppy here, whereas in the original film, I did feel like his direction was more steady and it flowed better. But here, I noticed the direction does get really choppy here. Like, for example, the opening credits in Ron Long 2, probably some of the choppiest opening credits I've seen in a while. And if you guys have watched this film, you'll probably know why, but the beginning, the opening credits and just moments in the film just felt very choppy with its direction and it could have been better. And the last problem I had with Ride Along 2, and this is not a good thing. This movie's a comedy, right? Right? It's a comedy. And yes, some parts were funny, but when you're bored, and I mean seriously bored, watching a comedy sequel, what does that tell you? And that's my review for Ride Along 2, guys. Overall, I thought Ride Along 2, while it's not terrible, I have seen worse comedy sequels, to be fair. But the whole entire time I'm watching this film, it just came off as pointless and lazy. So, I'm going to give Ride Along 2, 2 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know. What did you guys think of Ride Along 2, and what did you think of the first Ride Along? This is Tony, a.k.a. 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!